Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. Welcome back. So what I'm going to start with today is I'm going to build the tunnel liner. So I am going to carry this back maybe about uh, 12 inches or so to uh, make it look like I've got uh, you know rock and that it's actually going into a solid object. Now, I will be honest, I have restarted this video. So I had had about five minutes of uh, video filmed for a uh, method that I was going to use to do the tunnel liner. And last night, I ended up tossing the whole thing in the garbage can because it was not looking the way I wanted it to look. I uh, had made a uh, cardboard shell uh, for the inside, and then I used some of the uh, shaper sheets, which the shaper sheets from uh, Woodland Scenics actually you know, look nice, just not for what I was doing. And what I was doing turned out to be an abomination, <laughs> so I, I put it in the garbage can. So here's the outside of that particular project. I used duct tape just after I glued cardboard strips together, and I showed the construction of it in the other videos that I deleted because it just was horrible. Put the shaper sheets in, and the shaper sheets actually look good. Uh, but I didn't think about the seam, so I had two shaper sheets running lengthwise in here. Just looked horrible, you know, because you'd be able to see that looking into the tunnel. So this went into the garbage. So I'll show you what I'm opting to do here. So on this side, I am building up just a little platform on this, and I'm going to use sculpt mold. So what I've landed on is I'm still using the blocks that I made, but now I've made it into a jig. Uh, and uh, thanks to some, uh, uh, some comments from the Back on Track team on the show this morning, Claude, in fact, uh, I notched the bottom of this so that it sits on the tracks. So what this is going to be is it will sit on the track just like this. And I can move it up, and this is going to be a form for sculpted mold. So I will put sculpted mold around this, and I got a lot of sculpted mold. And I put the plastic on so the sculpted mold does not stick to the wood. As I build it up, I'll commit, or I will incrementally pull it back, and continue to add sculpted mold until I get a tunnel portal or not a portal, but a tunnel, it brings me up roughly to here. Once this clamp is out of the way, it'll actually go a little bit farther. So this should act as a good view block. Uh, the inside, you know, it's sculpted mold. It'll be shaped into the tunnel form. I'll be able to come back in uh, with my brush and paint stains on the inside of this. Once I get done, and, uh, you know, it will look and it will match up. I'll use some of the darker stain right at the front and then the really dark stuff in the back uh, so that it just blends in and disappears into the darkness. And I'll be able to do that with the other one, too. You can see I uh, took some of the uh, pink foam uh, board away from the uh, tunnel portal, so I've got a place to put in sculpt mold. So I think this will work. I think this will actually look decent when I'm done. Uh, we'll find out here after a while. I'm letting this little piece of masonite, uh, you know, glue firm up. And I've got it under here just to uh, give a platform where I can build some sculpt mold up. I'll probably add a couple of small screws just sticking out uh, at an angle on this side and this side. That way the sculpt mold bites into it and it packs around like the screws so that it's not going to move anywhere. Uh, it'll be in here permanent. So, and that's okay. The track track is not going anywhere. The track is in good shape. So we'll see how this progresses as I uh, go through this video. Well, I am ready to uh, start doing the tunnel liner. Have uh, this masonite screwed in in just two spots. Uh, it's glued. It's not going to go anywhere. These screws that you see here I will use to anchor the sculpt mold. So as I'm building this liner around that mold, when I get into these areas, I'll make sure that these are covered with the sculpt mold all the way around here and here, and then over here's one too. That will just hold everything in place. The sculpt mold is very rigid, very strong. Uh, once in position, 
It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, and that's going to make sure that it's got a good anchor point. So the tracks are covered. Everything's ready. I've just got to get the sculpt to mold out and uh, we'll see if this is going to work. Find out here in a minute. So, so far, this is actually working out pretty well. You can see my uh, mold in there, the walls. I can't see up to the top, but it's doing exactly what I'm wanting it to do, which is nice. So in here, you can see that I'm building it out. I let it sit for a minute or so, and then just gently wiggle it to give me another half inch or so that I build it up, and then I keep moving. So this is working. We'll see uh, as I get a little bit farther along here. So this is working out really well. Uh, I'm getting a nice tunnel. The roof is intact. It's looking good. And coming around on this side, you can see I'm making some good progress. I don't really have that much more to go. I'm more than uh, two thirds to where I want to be. So yeah, I like this. This is pretty good. This is kind of fun. It's a lot easier than what I was doing last night with that piece of crap that I junked. Now let me finish it up and I'll show you how it looks. And you can see I'm just building it up, oh, half inch around roughly. Uh, it's all the sculpt and mold that you need. Uh, it, it will harden and be perfect. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go anywhere. So this is good. Tunnel portal, tunnel liner, it's looking pretty good. This is working and working quite well. So you can see where I'm at. This is all going to be hidden so I am not going to worry about it looking pretty. I just need to maintain that uh, 3 8 to half inch thick thickness so that I got a good robust shell and it seems like it's doing it. So just a little bit farther and I'm done. Well there it is. It does not look pretty on the outside, <laughs> but I don't care. Uh, it's on the inside that counts. So let's take the form out. I've let it sit for about uh, 10 minutes since I put the last sculpt mold on. That gives it a chance to firm up. It's still wet and workable. So what I've done with the form is I just kind of wiggle it up a little bit and pull it out. You can see how big the form is. And there we go. Got a nice tunnel. What I will do is I will let it set up um, a fair amount. Then I'll kind of come in, clean out the nubblies that are in there, and probably take in a little bit of sculpt mold with uh, you know a stick and kind of do down at the bottom just to make sure I got everything sealed up. See right there, that's where that support is. So uh, do a little bit of fill work. But that's, that's it. So if you're looking at it like this, and there's going to be fascia, so you're never going to look at it like that. You can't see it. Let's go on the other side and see how it looks. Let me put that up there. Let me come around. So there, if you're standing here looking, yes, you can see into the back, but that's going to be covered by fascia. Uh, I get this stained. This tunnel will be the same colors essentially as the rock. I'm not going to go crazy on it. I'm just going to do one main color and then I'll kind of come back in and give it a little bit more dark with the ebony just to make it look dark. But, you know, so if you're standing and you're just kind of looking at it, trains are going to go in. You're going to see the rock faces. You have to kind of get, to, if you're looking at it from this angle, pretty much the rock, you got to kind of move into a, yeah, a little bit of an area and you can kind of see, but again, that's going to be covered by fascia. So not much is going to come out. There is going to be that porthole for access. And you know what? That might actually look like the end of the tunnel, another tunnel portal, just kind of off in the distance. We'll see, that, that might actually work out pretty well because that's gonna be in about that same spot. Because yeah, I'm gonna put the uh, tunnel portal, or the uh, access point, midpoint on this module, which is gonna put it about here. 
Yeah, you know what? That might actually look like the end of the tunnel off in the distance when we get farther along. So anyway, that's kind of rough looking, but that's okay. Again, you're not going to see it. Still wet, so it's workable. I can kind of smooth it just a little bit, but it will be firm. That's what I want. So, all right, I will let that sit for a while and then uh, do the stain part on the inside and also retape the track so that I'm not making a problem with that, but this is turning out pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. See what else I can get into here. So early Sunday morning, and I've been out here for a little while, not too long, mixed up a real small batch of uh, sculpt mold and sort of smoothed out the uh, tunnel liner walls a little bit. Makes for, and I gotta clean up those couple little nubblies up there. But I've got it smoothed, I've got it kind of packed down on the corners. So I will let this dry just a little bit longer. And this afternoon, I will stain it, and the uh, tunnel liner on this side will be done. So, yeah, definitely this turned out well. I would imagine a person could do it in other scales as well here. Uh, making that little mold for uh, HO scale and even N scale. You know, smaller scales, I wouldn't uh, make it like I did here, go back, you know, 12, 14 inches. As an O scale, you can get your hands in there. HO scale, I'd maybe go back, you know, three or four inches. In you know, smaller, you, you don't need to see quite as much. It'll disappear. Same thing for N scale. You can make one of those little forms and do maybe a couple, you know, two, three inches going back into a mountain and N scale, and it's going to disappear, and you're going to still have that good effect of seeing, you know, the rock uh, on the inside of the portal. Anyway, I will uh, get ready and do some staining here after lunch, show you the end results, and I think that will then wrap up this video. So a little afternoon on Sunday, and I've just finished putting the stain inside the liner. I used the same brush uh, that I had been using. I was able to get in there. O scale, it's easy. You got room to work, but yeah, that looks... That looks really good. I'm, I'm very happy with the uh, result on doing it the way that I did. So I used the uh, uh, varathane stain called flagstone on the inside. Then I went back in on top of that and added a little bit of ebony and, I mean, just a little bit, just to kind of give it some highlights. Let it sit for a few minutes and then I dabbed the sides with a paper towel. I didn't rub. I just kind of blotted off. Uh, some of the excess gives me a really nice rich color so it definitely looks like a train's going into a real tunnel you know if you're looking at it this way here on the other side I'm gonna peek in again we won't be able to see it from this way but you know if you got the camera up close you are definitely walking a, a tunnel to uh <laughs> go back out into the daylight. So very happy with the results on this. So I will let all that dry. One last thing that I'll do in this video is I'm going to come back and I'm going to touch up the tunnel portal. So if you remember many videos ago, I used this uh, cream coat sand dune color. Uh, that gives me sort of a, a weathered concrete appearance. I will come back in and I'll just touch up some of the areas that need it lightly, so almost dry brush. Then I'm gonna come back in with uh, a little bit of chalk and I'll kind of weather up up here, give it that smoky appearance, and then a little bit of kind of dark bluish greens down in some of the cracks and some other dark, just for highlights. So a little later, Sunday afternoon, and I do have the tunnel portal painted again, touched up with the uh, sort of sand dune white, gives it the concrete appearance. Kind of take a look, kind of look into that tunnel. It's really dark. I just put a, a scrap piece of hard hardboard on just to kind of see how dark it'll make it. Uh, so that looks pretty good. A train's gonna disappear in that tunnel. But 
I will uh, add a little bit of chalk for weathering and uh, that will wrap it up for this one. So let's uh, get some chalk on there and see how that looks and then we'll call it good. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Got some uh, chalk weathering done on that portal. So take uh, my chalk assortment out. And I'm just gonna wipe the track a little bit right here. Still gotta paint the uh, ties and everything and I took that uh, board off the back. Kind of see how this will look. Yeah, I like that. That was a fun little project, and doing it the second way to do that tunnel liner was not frustrating. So I'm a happy camper. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Take care, everybody, and keep having fun on your layouts. Until next time.